And I was in there, I was, I was playing a bit of blackjack. I like the blackjack. I looked over, there was a sign on the wall. It said, if you've got a problem with gambling, call this number. So I rang them up. I said, look, I've got an ace and a six and the dealer's got a seven. <laughs> she wasn't very helpful. <laughs> Tell you what else they've got there. They've got those themed restaurants. You might have seen those. You know, they might have a medieval theme or it's a country theme, which is good fun until you have to go to the bathroom because then you've got to make a choice. It might just have cows and bulls. <laughs> You know, seen that, or it's ducks and drakes. Well, this one was really confusing. It just had the letter L and the letter M. I thought, well, I think I'm a large. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sitting there at one of the bars. I'm just sitting there having a nice, quiet drink. Yeah, and things happen like this. A, a beautiful young woman came up and sat right beside me. She said, hello. She said, my name's Tracy. She said, and I'll be honest. She said, I'm a nymphomaniac. She said, and I'm only attracted to Jewish men and cowboys. She said, what's your name? I said, hop along, Goldberg. <laughs> I'm bought myself a new car. New for me. It's a 78 Sigma. Beautiful. I'm not a good driver. I hit a bloke a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> he was in his lounge room at the time. And, uh, I couldn't see him from the street. He was behind the sofa, but um, I had to go through the kitchen to get him. But I got him. And um, I did a bit of damage to my car, though, so I had to take it to the mechanic. And he said, well, you've lost a grommet. I said, oh, <laughs> not a grommet. He said, do you even know what a grommet is? I said, I haven't got the faintest idea. He said, ah. We're going to have to replace the whole engine then. <laughs> so I've got a nice new engine in my car. I tell you what I did get, you might have seen these. I don't know if you've had one of these. You know the speed camera finds? Have you seen those? You've got the speed cameras. When I opened up the mail at home and I had a $150 fine. $150 and a photograph of me speeding. So I sent them back a photograph of some money. <laughs> They sent me back a photo of some handcuffs, so I'll probably fix that one up. I got another one a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I got pulled over by an officer for speeding. He said, do you know you were doing 85 in an 80 zone? I said, I'm terribly sorry, officer. I said, I was rushing to get to the hospital. I said, my wife's in the back. She's taken an overdose of slimming tablets. He said, I can't see anyone in the back. I said, it's too late. And I flew with an airline called Jetstar. That's a budget airline. You may not have heard of it, but very budget. And uh, I checked my bags in. I, I had three bags. I said, I'd like this one to go to Singapore, this one to Melbourne, and this one to Auckland. She said, we can't do that. I said, you did it last week. <laughs> I joined the army after that. Joined the army. Got into the Special Forces, the SAS. Fantastic. The sergeant called me over one afternoon. He said, I didn't see you at camouflage training this morning. I said, it was good, wasn't I? <laughs> now, folks, does anyone here remember Barry Manilow at all? Yeah. Maybe had a big hit song called Mandy. Yeah. I remember the first time I heard that song, it had special meaning for me because at the time I was actually going out with a girl named Barry. 